Hello everyone, I hope you are all fine. If you are not part of this uh, family, please hit the subscribe button. So I will be glad to have you in this family. That's how I call it. <laughs> um, in my channel, hit the subscribe button. And uh, remember that this is a general rating. This is for the Zodiac of Sagittarius, a weekly love reading. What's... Uh, remember that the energies, uh, the roles can be vice versa, that the time is fluid, because I say weekly, but time is fluid. Uh, remember, this is general, take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. So, let's begin for Sagittarius. What's the current energy for my Sagittarius people out there? Let's see the current energy for Sagittarius. What's the current energy for my Sagittarius people out there? Show me the cards I need to see for my Sagittarius. These are very big cards to shuffle. The current energy for Sagittarius. Oh, the Five of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck, the Five of Pentacles. We have a lot here. Conflicts. The current energy for Sagittarius. It came out, five of pentacles, five of swords. Five, five, five is the number of change, you know? The ten of cups. Yes, we have a change here. Conflict, somebody left uh, feeling lonely, left out in the cold. Yes, this is about the relationship, the connection. The Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Two of Cups. So, why this is a, a change that we have in your current energy. I see you are, you are in, in a, for some of you, this is a new, new relationship. New relationship, some of you are living together, engaged, married. Uh, you are afraid because there are some conflicts. You are afraid of losing this person. I see fear under the Five of Cups. This is your fear. This is your fear. Some of you... You have past traumas, childhood traumas, and when you are happy, and when you feel loved, uh, you are, when you are in a very loving situation, maybe you are afraid. But you don't need to be afraid, because there is balance, there is uh, stability. This is your fears. 10, 10 to 10. You don't need to, uh, there, there were some conflicts in this uh, relationship, but you are working so hard on this relationship, both of you, I see both of you are working hard because I have the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Cups at the bottom. And uh, I see this heartbreak is over. Yes. What's coming towards my Sagittarius people? This is in your current energy. So let's see what's coming for this week towards you, Sagittarius. What's coming towards my Sagittarius? 
this week. Show me the cards I need to see for Sagittarius, please. Four of Cups. What's coming to us, my Sagittarius? What is the Four of Cups? The Hermit. Oh, and I had the Hangman here. And the Hermit. The King of Cups. This is a soul searching, going within. Hmm. Under the Ten of Swords is the Moon. I don't know if uh, you are you learn some hidden truths. Something came in your awareness about something that was hidden, and you were heartbroken, and that's why all these conflicts that I see in your current energy. The King and the Queen of Cups. It may be a person from another city, from distance. I see a lot of communication. Um, you are going uh, within. You, you are doing soul searching to get out. How to get out of these fears, of these doubts, of this heartbreak. And I see a lot of communication here, very passionate communication, <laughs> very passionate communication. Hmm. Spirituality, I have here spirituality under the hermit, the hermit, the angel of reflection and under this spirituality and the angel of courage. So, you are going through an enlightenment, a very strong one, of course. It's coming towards the Empress. Yes, you see. You are becoming the Empress, abandoned. Some of you may be, the Empress is a, a fertile woman, is a wife, a very loving and caring. I see some of you may be get pregnant or you are pregnant and you will find, ah, it's under the moon. Under the moon, maybe you will find out that you are pregnant. I don't know. For some of you, it cannot be for the majority, of course. Some of you will find out you are pregnant. The tower. A very sudden, unexpected event. The tower isn't always bad, like it's interpreted, it's being interpreted in the, from many readers. I don't agree with this. I don't agree that the tower is uh, something bad. On the contrary, I think that tower is needed to shake us and wake us up. Because I spoke about enlightenment and then we have the tower. This is a sudden event that will shake you up. Yes, uh, I see, uh, see a pregnancy here. Uh, it's something that you will find out suddenly. <clears throat> don't know for who is this message. Uh, you don't expect this coming. You don't expect this. Is, and Sagittarius people need to know what do they need to know what's coming towards them what's this tower here clarify the tower card please clarify the tower let's see the tower the tower the lovers 
The lovers can be is a choice that is necessary to be made. I don't know if this conflict is about a pregnancy here. If so, yes, I see children at the bottom of the deck is the sun, children. I don't know if this conflict is about a pregnancy, somebody doesn't want this pregnancy, someone is re refusing their child. Yes, it's coming. This is what I feel intuitively. Seven of Swords, Lies, Deception, Backstabbing, Betrayal. That's why all these conflicts, because this happy relationship, this person that represents themselves, stable, loyal, committed, I see a woman here that is getting pregnant. <clears throat> Very unexpectedly. The Seven of Swords is deception, lies, cheating. Clarify the lovers, please. It's a, the lovers is a choice that needs to be made between, maybe between two people maybe someone has to choose between you and another person and maybe the other person is pregnant the wheel of fortune clarifies the lovers so the wheel is turning on your favor you don't accept any bs any bs with any bullshits you you want the truth you want the truth because you are a very honest person. You don't accept these lies because I see a lot of lies here. Somebody has needs to choose between two. Uh, um, yes, one cycle is completed with the world here. This person needs to choose whoever this is. And they are choosing, I see the wheel of fortune turning. What's the outcome in this situation? Because this is a very specific story that we have here. What's the outcome? What's the outcome for my Sagittarius? It's a very specific story here. What's the outcome for Sagittarius? What is the outcome? Show me the cuts and if it's for Sagittarius, excuse my neighbors for this noise. Um, excuse my, is my neighbor. You need to Control yourself. Control is what the outcome for my Sagittarius. Justice. Justice is also balance between two, finding the balance. Justice will be served. It's possibly a fire sign, it's coming here again. This justice is next to the Nine of Swords. It's a very heartbreaking situation that you are going through, but at the bottom of the deck with the Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, that is here clarifying there i see victory but you need to be a little bit cautious because i see this person will continue to 
have some hidden truths. They will not tell you the whole truth. When, if, when and if they choose you, because this is what I see, they are choosing you, they will not tell you the whole truth. They will still, uh, they will continue keeping, repeating this uh, behavior because the wheel of fortune is a cycle, keep repeating, going round and round. And this person is coming under the, this person is a player. Mm. The advice that I have for you, uh, for some of you, I know you may not like to hear this, is to remove yourself from this situation with the Nine of Pentacles and to heal yourself with the Four of Swords because I don't see this person changing. They will choose you, yes, they are choosing you, but they will continue the same pattern. And after they are choosing you, I see you again heartbroken. Um, the advice is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a single woman who looks after herself. And the Four of Cups, uh, the Four of Pentacles, excuse me, to control control yourself. It, it says control. This is a different deck. If you can read it, it says control. Control. Because this person will hurt you again. This is what I see. For some of you, it may be difficult because maybe children are involved. I see strongly pregnancy here, I see, I don't know if it is, it's unexpected, I don't know if it is you or if it is another person. Again, this is a general reading, take what resonates with you, leave the rest behind. You may be dealing with, uh, if you want to me to say some zodiacs, a fire sign, I read your such. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Pisces, Virgo, Leo, as I said, fire sign. It's a strongly fire sign, but this may be your energy. This may be zodiacs that they have in their chart. Or maybe this is their energy. So feel free to comment in the comment section below. If this reading resonates with you, let me know. Hit the like button if you like this video. And feel free to subscribe to my channel to become a member of this family and I can get your energy easier in my readings. I'm sending you love and light, and thank you for watching.